Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at and installing the Anderson Composites Type SA heat extractor hood in carbon fiber for 2018 and newer GT and EcoBoost Mustangs. This is going to be a good option for someone looking for something different. So carbon fiber offers a very different look in and of itself, but take away the carbon appearance and the styling of this hood itself is also different. It's a heat extractor hood with large vents all the way up. There are three extractor vents on each side of the hood and they do have removable mesh screens in them that can be easily painted. This is a direct fit replacement and it is double sided carbon fiber with a high gloss finish. You will need hood pins and a heat shield for safety reasons and for finish reasons. And of course, gas struts are not recommended on this hood. So keep in mind that carbon fiber can always be painted too if you guys don't like the carbon fiber appearance, or you can leave it as is. It can be a statement piece, or you can grab other carbon fiber items to accent it. This is a good option if you're looking to drop weight, or if you're looking for the functionality of having a heat extractor hood like this one. It costs about $1,500, and it's easy to install. I'll call it a 2 out of 3 wrenches in the difficulty meter, and we'll show you how to get it on your car now. For this install, we use two different 10 millimeter sockets, a 3 8 drive and a quarter inch drive a quarter inch drive ratchet, as well as a 3 h drive impact gun and a body clip removal tool. All right guys, so the first step of your install is obviously gonna be to pop your hood. Now we do have a few things to transfer over to our carbon fiber hood from our factory hood. All right, we do need to transfer over our latch here as well as the nozzle, so we'll be removing both of those. I have a 10 millimeter socket here, and we're gonna go ahead and just unbolt that now. So for our next step, we're going to be handling our fluid line here. So I'm going to use a body clip removal tool, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to unclip it from the hood here. Then I'm also going to remove some of the clips from the insulation, peel that back a little bit, and we'll remove the line. We are going to save removing the nozzles until we actually get the hood off, though. All right, so you guys are gonna have one push pin here. We are missing that on our car, so you guys can see our insulation hangs down a little bit. You'll also need to go in a little bit further and pull this second clip here as well. So we're just gonna go ahead, work that out of the hood. All right, you guys can see right here where our line connects. We'll need to pull this out as well. But basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna disconnect the line from here. We'll leave this in the hood for now. We'll pull this clip out. And then we have to reach a little bit further in, undo a couple more clips, and then go to the other side to grab the other end of the line. All right, guys, so now we're gonna go over to the other side of the hood. We are going to use our tool to remove the line from the hood here. And then we're also going to disconnect the line right here. So at this point in time, you are ready to remove your hood. You'll need a 10 millimeter socket for that. And a second set of hands is really going to make things a lot easier for you. I have Joe here to help me. What we're going to do is we're going to remove the hood from the hood prop. We're going to push the hood up as far as possible, take our 10 millimeter socket, and unbolt the two nuts on either side of the hood that are right here. So, Remove the hood from the hood prop. So with a little bit of help, we now have our factory hood removed and we do have it sitting on a piece of cardboard to protect the paint. You guys are probably going to want to do the same thing just in case you ever want to return to your stock hood or if you want to sell it. What we're going to do now is actually transfer over the nozzles and I'll show you guys how to remove them now. So these are really easy. What you're going to do is you'll just put your finger underneath of them, you'll push up and it'll pop right out of place. We'll do the same thing on the other side. All right, so now we're gonna transfer these over to our new carbon fiber hood. So these are simply gonna slide into place and then clip in. You might have to fish the end of the line through the hole here. Okay, that one's clipped in. We'll go ahead and do the other side as well. So 
So the last thing we need to do before we can get the hood on the car is actually transfer over our latch. Now, there will be some hardware here, but we're gonna go ahead and use the factory hardware. So we'll just remove these. These are 10 millimeter nuts. We'll get our latch in place. I am gonna use a hand ratchet for this because we don't wanna over tighten these and crack the carbon fiber. All right guys, so once again, a second set of hands is really gonna help you out here. Joe and I are just gonna work together to line this up and get it bolted into place. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is obviously just get your hardware into place. Don't worry about tightening it down yet because you might need to align the hood a little bit. So at this point, we're gonna leave the hardware loose. We're gonna lay the hood down uh, we have to figure out the adjustments that we need to make before we can tighten the hardware down. So we're going to try to lower the hood and just see where it's sitting right now. Going to watch all the corners, make sure you're not going to chip any paint. So at this point with hardware as loose as it is, you can see Joe was able to latch the hood and we can kind of wiggle the hood back and forth a little bit just to make sure all the lines are correct before we tighten things down. So at this point, Joe and I really like where the hood is sitting in the gap on either side. So by hand, I'm gonna take a 10 millimeter socket and I'm just gonna snug these down while Joe holds the hood for me. All right, so now we're slowly lifting up the hood. We're gonna make sure it doesn't move at all. And I'm gonna tighten the, these down on this side. Once again, you guys don't wanna over tighten these. You don't wanna crack the carbon fiber. So one of the last things we have to do is reconnect our fluid line. So what we're gonna do is Bring this up here, just snap it back into place on both nozzles. And then as you guys can see, there's nowhere to clip our line into. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tuck it further down into the car just to make it a little bit cleaner. You guys have a couple different options with this. That's just what we're gonna do. You guys can remove these clips too with a flathead screwdriver if you wanted to. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up this review and install. Keep in mind, you can always check this hood out more online right here at AmericanMuscle.com.